what are we getting for dinner? Hey Charles, we're here at the uh, UBC track uh, for a workout. Um, what's the plan today? Uh, so today, I think it's John's last big workout before Worlds. Uh, so uh, figured it would be nice to jump in with him. Uh, we're doing 4K tempo and then uh, two 800s and then four by four. So just like some easy volume and then some sort of like cut down to a race base for, for him to get ready for World Indoors. Awesome. And then what are you, what's your plan? What are you preparing for? Are you racing World Indoors? Uh, no. So basically I've been injured uh, all of January. I haven't run for five weeks. And uh, to be honest, in the last few weeks, all I've done uh, was either uh, tempos or strides. So today's kind of like um, just my first specific session in a long time and just trying to see where the fitness is at. Um, and uh, I'm getting ready for a camp in Flagstaff at the end of the month. So goal is just to get fit enough to have a good camp in Flagstaff at this point. Awesome. And then what are your plans for outdoor season after that? Uh, I should open my season on the roads, the BAA 5K, and then uh, hoping to run the 5,000 at the track meet early in May. And uh, I mean, I'm in a good position right now. I'm already qualified for Worlds in the 1500, so uh, probably train a bit more out in Vancouver uh, for May and in June try to try to send it in a couple 1500s and run nationals and then worlds. Awesome. Yeah, so you, I guess you dealt with like a little bit of disappointment last year after not qualifying for the Olympics, but you seem to have like a, a good bounce back a couple of races after that. Can you speak a little bit about how that season went and what your thoughts are going forward? Yeah, I mean, uh, early in May, I was pretty confident I was going to hit standard and go to Tokyo, but, uh, you know, like I got spiked on the Achilles. Uh, it was completely out of my control. I couldn't run for two weeks. And, you know, there's this saying in running that uh, the amount of time you need to get back to your level is twice the amount you were off. So two weeks off for me, it took me four weeks to get back to the level, level I was before the injury, which put me like literally two weeks after the deadline where I ran standard two weeks after the deadline. So um, like I was really fit. And even though it was a big, big, big disappointment, the biggest hurdle was definitely to kind of uh, live with the fact that I wasn't going to go to the Olympics and keep pushing through and uh, look forward just to racing as like racing being fun, being on the circuit, being uh, like being back healthy on the circuit, which is something I haven't done in years and really try to enjoy it. And that's really how I think I was able to bounce back and get a good end of the season. Yeah. Yeah, good timing without good weather. <laughs> with uh, at UBC for a workout with um, John and Charles, what's the plan today? The plan is to do a 12 minute tempo on the track. They'll be looking at around three minutes per K. Then we'll switch into spikes, two times 800 off three minutes, three K goal pace. So that'll be in and around 202 to 204. Then four fours of 90 seconds, looking at 58 to 59 pace. It's going to be a good tune-up for John as he has World Indoors in about 10 days' time. And 
really happy to have Charles here, obviously having a 334 guy uh, on board makes such a, such a big difference for John. He does a lot of stuff solo, so this will be sweet. Right, and so you've been coaching John for quite some time now. Could you just speak to um, yeah. what it's like coaching him as an athlete? I've been coaching John since September of 2015, so quite a while. Uh, John is genuinely one of the nicest people I know, and he's such a hard worker, and uh, the progression he's made since 2015 is pretty exceptional. He's gone from 9.16 in the steeplechase all the way down to 8.16.99 and an Olympic finalist. So yeah, that's a real testament to his positive attitude, amazing work ethic, and competitive spirit. And then um, what's it like having uh, Charles, obviously Charles is not your athlete, but he's, he's working out with John today. What's that like? It's, it's awesome having a, an athlete like Charles uh, coming to Vancouver to work out with John. Um, we, we love to collaborate with uh, other coaches, other athletes, um, whether it be Charles or Luke. Um, it, 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 helps, it helps John, but it also helps Charles. Um, and this type of workout, I think uh, they can make each other better. It's sort of a sort of a 3K, 1500-meter hybrid session, so they should be able to share the lead, which uh, is a lot easier than running solo. Ron, you're uh, about 10 days out from World Championships. How are you feeling? Good, yeah. I think today will be telling of where I'm at. It's uh, probably the last full-on session that we'll do before heading over to Serbia, and then once we're there, it's just rest and recovery. So I'm excited. Uh, Tapering sometimes is tough for me, so I'm trying to really hit this workout and then give myself permission to back off after that. All right. But super excited. It's an indoor racing is still pretty new for me, so racing a world indoor championship is just going to be a big learning experience that I'm really eager to get over and take part in and just be a sponge, right. absorb it all, and um, mix it up with the best guys. And what is the what is the workout today? So we're starting with a 12 minute tempo on the track, so probably right around three minute tape pace, and then we'll take a short break. And we have two 800s at 3K pace, and then four 400s at 1500 pace. Uh, pretty generous rest compared to what we're used to, so uh, I think CJ is quietly giving us carte blanche to go for it a bit today. All right. Is this, is this a workout that you guys normally do? This is a new one, actually. Um, we do a lot of cut downs, but this specific combination of 8 8 4 by 4 is, I think, a first time for us. But it is definitely CJ bread and butter to go tempo followed by a cut down on the track. Right. That's probably an every week thing for us most of the year. So you're racing the 3K at Indoor Worlds? Yeah. Um, what's it like racing, obviously, your steeplechaser? So what's it like running a 3K instead of a steeple? It's fast. It, uh, you know, the steeplechase itself feels more and more like a true middle distance event every year I run it, as opposed to kind of a long grinding effort. And the 3K, especially on an indoor track, is that times 10. You've just really got to get out hard. That's something I'm still working on, is finding my way into the line on those narrow corners. And yeah, there's really, there's no room for any quarter. It's, uh, you just have to get out hard and kind of hold on and keep your wits about you. And this will, I'm, I'm imagining that there's going to be some pretty heavy kickers in this race, so that'll be a new experience for me, is trying to be patient enough to trust in my kick at the end. Because uh, I've been a notorious front runner before, and these are not the type of guys that I want to be giving any favors to by giving unsolicited pacing or if I don't have to. Right. The 25th, I'm going to flag. I got the Super Shoes RC Elite from New Balance. Uh, I mean, we want we want this part of the workout to be really controlled, so it makes sense to have like those carbon plated shoes just to like get us going. And then uh, I'll be switching to the MDX for the rest of the workouts. I think uh, I think it's the best spike on the market. People are sleeping on it, but. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna keep using them. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to run some uh, decent times today. Awesome. And uh, are you on Strava? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you, are you supposed to have a handle? If I have a handle, it's Charles PT, like all in one. Okay. If I do have one, yeah, yeah. there's a handle. But uh, yeah, I, I do put some runs in there. Uh, most, like, if I'll do a nice long run, I'll put it in there just so people can. 
people get impressed because like what we do on the track people don't really get it but then we'll do a long run and people will be impressed so like yeah. uh, I put some long runs sometimes on Strava <laughs> I'm guilty of that <laughs> awesome uh, and then John what are you, uh, what shoes are you wearing today for the workout uh, so I just took off my Vomeros Nike Vomeros and I'm putting on an old beat up pair of Vaporflies for the tempo and then I'll switch into an equally old and beat up pair of Dragonflies for the track stuff that's a bit faster. Awesome. Um, I found, especially this year, as I'm getting older, that I really am appreciating the extra cushion in both my trainers and my racing shoes more and more. I just, I'm not recovering as quickly as I was five yeah. years ago, and so any little boost I can get. You're yeah. still an infant. I know, I can't <laughs> even imagine what it'll be like when I'm an old man like Charles. <laughs> Okay. So once we're at the four, is the workout's basically done. Right? Uh, <laughs> quick question extra. For is this marathon pace these days. <laughs> well, we got some work to do if we're going to move up to the marathon. Charles, how was that tempo so far? It felt really smooth. It's always nice to share uh, the work with someone else. And uh, right now I'm thinking legs should show up for the rest of the workout, <laughs> the way it felt. So that's uh, good news. Good. How about you, John? How was that? Yeah, it was good. Um, as Charles said, it's always nice to share the load. And that was really just the primer for, for the real work. But I think both of us probably like to get a little bit of volume like that in just to get the heart rate up and stretch the legs out a bit before we hit the real pace work. Yeah, at my age, you need a good hour of exercise before <laughs> you can't really put spikes on. <laughs> It's either that or you're retired. First one down. One down. just drift on me okay and try to challenge me just like to do like the end of the race sounds good yeah, sounds i'll really try good. and kick back actually 
Yeah, I don't know if I've ever run out. I think I've been a PTSD. I was <laughs> I was cruising some 61s down in Sedona when my calf pulled. Yeah, that was back in January. <laughs> so that was January 7th. Yeah, okay. So now we're literally like two months later. Yeah. yeah. Just like, hey, you goddamn motherfucker. Yeah, but Mr. B, you He's back. He's back. <laughs> finish till yeah you come off this corner so the third hundred I found is really tough how you feeling Charles two to go Pretty good actually. John's yeah. turn. Nice. Yeah, John's turn, so feeling pretty good. Feel chill. I'll go 29. I'm not going faster, okay? Perfect. Here you go. Pulling me along. <laughs> Try and hit a, get to the front by 200 to go, and Locked that was my team. move. <laughs> but then with 150, I saw you flipped another switch and took off even more. You looked smooth. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's in there. Oh. Well, how's the workout, guys? It was good. Yeah. It was great having company for this. That type of pace has never been my strong suit, but I wouldn't have even been able to hit what we hit today without. Charles to pull me along. Yeah, it was, uh, he's back. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot, of, a lot of fun. I mean, uh, like I said, I have only done tempos and strides to this point, so like to be able to run smoothly around two flat, great hundreds, and then like some 57s, 58s at the end felt pretty smooth too. I like where I'm at, so I'll get back to doing tempos and strides, and <laughs> by the time uh, I'll race on the track in May, uh, We'll do some more of this, but this guy's ready for all the indoors now. Yeah, John, how are you feeling? It's a good send off. Good, yeah. yeah. Now, like I said at the top of the workout, get this one done with and then start resting up. All right. Put the high mileage behind me and focus on feeling sharp now. Okay. So great to put a bow on this block. Awesome. Well, good luck at uh, World Indoors. Thank you. And good luck, uh, Charles, with, uh, with your races coming up. Thank you. Hopefully. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks yeah. for coming out. Great Thank to you see again. you guys. Yeah, I haven't felt like that in a while. No, oh yeah, good results. Good results. See ya. Yeah, I, I hate it. I hate it. I'm Let's go, guys. Or girls. 75, 76, 77, 78.